Hey, welcome back to another unboxing. I've uh, been going on a ordering frenzy the past couple days. I ordered uh, from three different places. I ordered from uh, some a uh, Hogue from uh, Knife Center, and this is uh, the Honey Badgers. I ordered from Blade HQ, and I got a. The, some Civivi fractures coming in a new uh, vendor for me, uh, Knives Plus. So let's get on with the opening of this box. Hmm. I'm not sure. Maybe it it opens here. Here. And you know what? Um, I I always watch the um, bird shots videos, and they say uh, request a, a f drawing by Frankie or or something like that, a drawing or a sticker. And I do when I order from Blake Blade HQ, and they never send it to me. They never send it. What? And I I I should tell them that um that they never send the sticker or artwork like they advertise on their website so i don't know what's what maybe you have to um have a special blade q or blade hq account to get us the frankie artwork but it's kind of weird that they, they say the send, they'll send you, uh, Blade HQ will send you something, and they d never do. Um, so this is the Honey Badger, um, two Honey Badgers. I finally, this is the um, Warncliffe version, and this other version is the, the regular uh, tip, or uh, clip point um but this is detail do d2 steel and then this is the hcr thir mov 13 or steel so and i was watching i was watching uh this guy from south africa uh is stuff we do and i don't remember it i think it's it's the stuff we do you, you you could look it up stuff we do and it's a it's a pretty interesting site i think he started his website uh, or sorry his channel at the same time i did so you should uh give him some give give him some looks too because he's he's probably much funnier than i and than me and he has a a cool accent so and he does some interesting stuff but Anyway, I was watching his um, his videos, and he turned me on to the honey badger. I kind of knew the hunt about the honey badger in the past, but I I really didn't like. I'd never ordered anything, and I just oh man, the honey badger tongue. I I I didn't see this on their website. So or anyway, so thanks to. Uh, the stuff we do um, for giving me the idea and ordering some honey badgers and I really it's a really nice presentation for like a, basically a budget blade yeah this is a really good flipper I think this is on bearings too I, I remember his his review saying that it was on bearings and this is like this glass nylon reinforced plastic or something. This the little honey badger on there on the blade. I plan to do something different with this. Like he, uh, he gave me an idea. I'll, 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 I'm going to probably dye these scales and then um, sand, off, sand off on the honeycomb feeling give a two-tone look I, I really liked how his turned out and I, I usually I like to die scales but uh, 
red I don't think will work with this brown color so I'll probably dye it in another color that was complementary of this color yeah this this I really like this blade oh man it's there's, it's screaming it's screaming oil it's dripping oil yeah I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm gonna do a review and I'm gonna carry this knife too and I'll let you know how what I feel about this knife in the future but I was just I I was just well, liking to do a, a unboxing video sorry my, my talking um, you know I mean I explained about this about the stroke sometimes I just have a hard time getting the words out so hopefully you you, you understand me it's uh I think it's this I think it's the knife centered yeah so what what is the other one I got I think this is the original version the the honey badger that came out before they started designing a couple different blades yeah and that's kind of cool that they give you the tool to take the knife apart I imagine everybody has a tool but you know never you never know so I I got this in the tan both of the ones I think the tan would be the easiest color to dye so I've dyed uh, tan um, scales red before and they were really really turned out cool so I'll probably dye this red and then I'll dye uh, the other scales in a different color and this blade is center too and this this is the I think this is the large size and then this is the medium size and then there's a small size and uh, I I didn't buy a small size so this seems like a, a good everyday carry size to me yeah it just whipped out there and this is the D2 because I still I still like D2 um, but I really I I really wanted uh, to experience the the 8, 8 CR MOV 13 steel I'm sorry if I'm saying that out of order so it's about uh, it's a mouthful Wow it has the badger on this blade too I didn't think it I I didn't I really I from the pictures I didn't think the the badger I don't show they didn't show the badger on the pictures on the website I think but yeah this is a there's I mean this is this pro this knife probably doesn't get a all the love that it should this uh, honey badger and I think the honey badger was invented in South Africa maybe I'm wrong but I think it it was it comes out of, it comes out of South Africa so sorry I don't research stuff <laughs> until after I do the videos sometimes man this is they're really good flippers how do I mean I'm not I'm not sh using the wrist um, yeah this is they're great flippers so thanks for uh, listen to me listen to me ramble and thanks for uh, joining me on my honey badger uh, unboxing um, look for updates in the f uh, updates for the future videos uh, I'll probably I'll probably do a a scale die job and maybe on both before I put out the next video um, and I don't know if I'll do a video on the die job um, I've, I've done it one one before but it's 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 not really that interesting you just like to look at the results so um, yep uh, and thanks for uh, the guy that runs the stuff we do I don't know his name but big thumbs up for stuff we do out, out of South Africa thanks 
拜拜。